so uh, nilichukua nafasi hii ku kusema ni asanti kwa watu ya midi ambayo wamefika hapa siku ya leo uh, kwa majina yetu Kikare David and the member of parliament wa Nakuru Town East constituency mahali mambo hii ya uh, war memorial imekuwa ikitokea nianze kwanza kwa kusema siku za kwanza zilipokuja nilifika pale kuangalia ile wakati wa kwanza na kwanza siku nimepata habari kamili mambo yale yalikuwa kiendelea pale na nilikuwa ninaona ni vizuri kama ilivyo kawaida ya kwamba ni vizuri kaunti yeshimu uh, uh, court orders kama vile kila mtu anafaa aheshimu court order lakini baada hayo na you remember i promised you nitaenda kukaa chini na county government ndio niweze kujua uh, kiini cha mambo haya kutokea uh, na ni kwa nini walikuwa kifanya vile ilikuwa ikifanya the county government ilikuwa ikifanya vile ilikuwa ikifanya na kwa kweli nilipata muda nikafika pale nikafika kwa county secretary na nikataka kujua kwa nini walitaka kuchukua nikampigia madam governor naye akanielezea eh, eh, utaratibu ambayo walikuwa wakifuata ya kwanza nilipata kujua na kama vile ndugu yangu pia uh, ndugu yangu bwana Kimani saa hii sijui ni kwa nini pia anachukua mrengo mwingine ndugu yangu bwana Kimani alinielezea ya kwamba mbeleni hiyo hospitali ilikuwa ikijulikana kama War Memorial Trust vile ilikuwa majina kwa title deed baadaye uh, ndio ilikuja ikabadilika ikawa ni War Memorial uh, Limited sasa ikifika hapo ni limited nikauliza mbona itoke kwa trust iende kwa limited na kulingana na ndugu yangu bwana Kimani alitoa stakabadhi nyingi sana za kuweza kuelezea uh, ni kwa nini hiyo hospitali ni lazima itolewe jina ya trust i, I mean itolewe jina ya limited ibaki trust kwa sababu a trust huwezi uza lakini limited hiyo ni anytime as a limited company property ni yangu na wale directors wako pale anytime they can be able to do decide what they want to decide na hiyo ndio ikanipatia uh, changamoto ya kuweza kuelewa uh, ni kwa nini county government ilikuwa imechukua hatua ambayo ilikuwa imechukua baada ya hiyo nimesikia kumeenda kukawa na kotini Uh, wakati ule sakabadhi zikachunguzwa sakabadhi zimechunguzwa na sisi kama serikali tunaisema kila wakati idara the independent institutions ambazo zimewekwa vitengo tofauti ya kuchunguza wachunguze waweze kujua kama ni ukweli ama si ukweli mambo yale yalikuwa na kwa, kwa baada ya muda ambaye mnajua uh, zile idara husika walienda wakachunguza na wakaona ya kwamba stakabadhi hizo zili uh, wali forge kulikuwa na forgery kwa zile stakabadhi za shamba hiyo na wale ambao walihusika wame tayari washafikishwa mahakamani kwenda kujibu mashtaka ya kuforgery ya forgery na mambo mengine ama presenting uh, documents ambazo sio za ukweli na ile kitu ambaye sasa ndio tuweze kusema mambo Uh, uwazi ni kwamba as we are talking mimi nilikuwa tuko na kesi kotini na huyo Crawford huyo hapana Crawford anaitwa nani Rogers Jocelyn Rogers Jocelyn tuko na yeye kotini as we are talking kwa lands the, uh, the lands uh, court saa hizi tuko environment and lands court tuko na yeye kotini kwa sababu gani huyu na ninataka kuambia DCI pamoja na idara husika za upelelezi this Rogers Jocelyn na wenzake ambaye niliona wamesimama kwa doc kwa forgery ya mambo ya war memorial must be investigated for the murder of one Crawford hiyo uh, jina nyingine sikumbuke ule mzungu ambaye alikuwa mmiliki wa shamba hapa stem kwa sababu Crawford alikutwa na watu ambaye hawajulikani akapigwa na nyundo in uh, i think in 1985 89 i think na huyo mzee mzungu alikaa miaka miwili in a coma then he died then what happened huyu Rogers akaoa yule Jocelyn ambaye ni secretary wa Crawford ukiangalia hiyo mambo ambaye vile naenda ni kama kulikuwa na mpango wa muue Crawford 
ndio waanze kuuza shamba lake 52 acres ambaye iko hapa ambaye nitaweza kutafuta stakabadhi na nitaleta kwa wanahabari wameuza hizo mashamba mwisho ilibaki 16 acres na baada hiyo 16 acres kuku, ku, ku, kubaki walikuta wale uh, what do you call them squatters squatters walikuwa ni wafanyikazi wa Crawford for over 40 years wamekuwa pale for over 40 years na unakumbuka nani huyu Sarah Jocelyn wakiwa na Rogers wakiwa na wale watu ambaye wanahusika na nitawaambia ni kwa nini walienda wakafoji hiyo makaratasi ya Crawford na kesi ikawekwa na Mwaki kama mnajua watu ya Mwaki hawa watu ya Mwaki sako wako na petrol station pale na hiyo petrol station walienda wakaweka kotini na uchunguzi ulipofanywa koti iliamua kwa kesi ambaye nitaleta makaratasi ya kwamba Cro, nani Rogers Jocelyn pamoja na huyo uh, Jocelyn mke wake waliforge na wakaweza kuuza hiyo mashamba ambaye mpaka saa hii mwenye kuuziwa the other 42 acres or rather 20, 30 something hawajawahi pata title deeds sasa nilipopata hivyo na nini wanataka kufanya wanataka kutoa masquota wa sita ambaye wako kwa ile shamba pale stem squatters only six ambaye wamekaa hapo for over 40 years wanataka kuwatoa na ndio tulienda kotini kusema kesi fulani ilifanyika forgery ilifanyika huyu Rogers na na huyu Jocelyn na hao watu wawezi kutoka kwa hivyo mimi nilipoona Rogers akisimamishwa pale kizimbani kwa charges ya forgery kundio apate title deeds iende kutoka war memorial iende to uh, from trust to limited nilijua mahali wanaelekea na tutauliza mahakama pamoja na wale ambaye uh, DCI wame pale they should put a caveat kwa shamba ya pale waweke caveat kwa sababu hivi karibuni kukiwachilia namna hiyo huyu Rogers ataendelea na anafanya hii kazi na nani wale watu ambaye walitoa statement jana wako kwa hiyo kesi wakiwa wote na wamekuwa kuwa kiniambia tusaidie tupate hii na nikawaambia mahali penye mkenya yuko na ni squatter take all the other land that you want to take lakini hao wa squatter waachieni hiyo eka yao sita ambaye kila mtu ameuliza apewe one eka. na wao wanahusika yule kenamba huyu mwindi ambaye ako ndani ya hii maneno alihusika kwa zaidi sana kwa sababu yeye ndio amejenga zile maduka unazime na kesi iko kotini wako kesi na Kenha wako na kesi na na ESCC pamoja na DCI huyo ndio mmoja ambaye wameshikana na hiyo ni hiyo group yote imekuja ndugu yangu Lee Kenyanjui and this is very unfortunate that Lee wewe unakuja kwanza kusema uh, ya kwamba watu wana wewe mwenyewe track record yako tunakujua wakati wa corona mimi nilijenga corona mnakumbuka ilikuja wakati kuna baridi kukaanza kunyesha hawa street families walitolewa kwa street mimi nikaenda kuwajengea hapa kwa uwanja wa railways what did Kenya Njui do as a governor he came and demolished that structure the night that the home families started sleeping alibomoa yote na akaiteremsha chini wale watu wa two street family wakaanza kupata shida ya pili nikaenda keratina hapa ukipando upande wa juu keratina nikajenga stalls mara tatu na jenga anabomoa na jenga anabomoa na jenga akibomoaga alafu anakuja kutuambia ati watu wanatibiwa watu wanakufa yeye yeah, anakumbuka ni watu wangapi walikufa wakati ule alipotoa soko hapa akapeleka kule stadium akabadilisha mambo mengine yale yote pili wakati wa kutoa matatu ya yeah, kumbuki ni nini alifanya na hii mambo yote Lee Kenya Njui is part and parcel ya hiyo shamba ya kule Crawford na pia ameingilia hii shamba ya hapa and I, mimi i am saying without any fear of contradiction ama kama anataka kunipeleka pale yote kunishtaki ashtaki kwa sababu najua anahusika kwa njia gani kwa hivyo ametoka Crawford hawajatosheka na shamba wamekuja hapa ndio waweze kwenda uh, kufanya the same thing ambayo wanaenda kutaka kwenda kufanya for the other MPs and I'm telling them I had decided not to speak on the war memorial issue because why I'm their chairman wa MPs elected in Nakuru county and I didn't want to kwenda kuingilia kwa sababu kila mtu ako na constituency yake and I know we are leaders 
and leaders of every but if you can mambo ya constituency i cannot live here to go and comment something about rongai kwa sababu ya nini kuna mheshimiwa pale i cannot go and comment some tunabuambia mandugu zangu ikifika ni mambo ya constituency matter kila mp shughulika mambo na constituency yako so that you can be able to articulate issues na wewe ukikuja kwangu uje uniambie ninaona ninaweza saidiana nikitaka wakuja wanani wananiita tusaidiane mambo ya kwao kwa hivyo wale wachache na ukiangalia wametoka mambo ya siasa za hospitali wamekuja siasa za county na hiyo ndio kitu wanafanya dada yetu madam keroje juli ni mention kwa statement yako na ninataka kukuambia siasa haifanywi kwa huyo barabara ambayo unaenda madam Kiroche wewe ni sende takazi yako soja namba 1 wa kutetea ugatuzi ni county assembly soja namba mbili wa kutetea mambo ya ugatuzi ni senate na wewe ndio senator wa nakuru uache kusinda ukitusomea ma statement hapa we don't want statements to be read in whatever big hotels and other places your work is to oversight county that is the way tunataikana by now ungekuja umetusaidia kutupatia ujumbe ambaye inahusiana na mambo ya uome memorial kwa sababu hiyo ni majukumu yako mambo ya health is devolved kwa hivyo majukumu yako kama senator ni kuangalia na kuleta ubora afya katika county yetu ya nakuru na mimi nasema hivi ni kwa nini nilipouliza county secretary hii mipango na kiwanja kama imeisha lease what do you intend to do akatuambia wako na mpango ya kulete kama national uh, kenyata national hospital kwa hiyo ekari 25 ukienda medical sahi medical is handling zaidi ya counties karibu tano wote wanakuja hapa other than eldoret wale wengine wote wanakimbia hapa so medical is already overstretched na ni kweli kama wako na mipango ya kupanua wo memorial as a public hospital we will give them all the support that this county requires for us to be able to go and be able to bring that facility here anasema hivi kwa sababu gani hatuwezi kuwa tunangoja tu medical imeisha kwa kupanuka haiwezi panuka zaidi kwa hivyo kwa hivyo kama unaweza kuleta a uh, national hospital kama ile ya Kenyatta hia na kaunti ya Nakuru mnaijua after Nairobi na Kiambu is the next populous county katika nchi yetu kwa hivyo what are we supposed to do we are supposed to give the county all the support mimi kwa kweli tulikosana na watu ya zamani nilipopiga yes to bbi nilipiga yes to bbi kwa nini nilikuwa nataka rasilimali ziletwe kwa kaunti yangu kaunti yangu ipate hela na huiweze kuimarika iweze kupanuka na bado saa hii sita, sita kama mipango ya kupanua kaunti yetu inakuja kwa mambo ile tuna kwa hivyo tutaomba wewe li Kenya njui wacha kutupatia lecture wewe ulipokuwa na nafasi wewe unajua ni nini ulifanya na unajua ni mambo gani ulifanya na wewe ulipokuwa kwa ofisi ndio tunasikia hiyo forgery ilitendeka how did it happen who is the first person online kwenda kuambiwa lizi kikwisha mimi nilikuwa mea hapa lizi kikwisha the first request to renew your lease goes to the county inakuja ilikuwa inakuja kwa municipal saa hii inaenda kwa county alafu county wanaweka no objection au wanaweka recommendation yao inaenda wewe ndio ulikuwa pale how then did you allow uh, to from a trust war memorial trust fund uh, trust to uh, war memorial limited na hiyo ni kitu ambaye tunaona hata wewe li unahusika kwa kuwa ulikuwa unapanga mipango ambaye unataka kwenda Hatu, mimi sina shida and what we are just asking if the county uh, government can take that hospital i absorb wale wafanyikazi madaktari na nurses wale walikuwa pale kwa sababu ni kwa mipango ya kupanua you cannot panua mambo ya health issues without kwa employ na tunasema sijaona nakuru county wakipiga kelele madaktari ya kwamba kuna shida kwa mahospitali na hawajalipo hela zao Unakumbuka li alipokuja kwa kiti akitafuta kiti alienda akakuta watu wa strike wakati wa kenodhi ya mbogwa akapiga kelele na akasema ataimarisha mambo ya uh, sekta ya afya hapa what happened when he became the governor they went on strike again 
against him for the very same things that he was saying he's going to sort out. So again, Lee, where will you pay me? Yako, uka, uka fanya vile olive fanya. Iko mwenye yako sa hii, apewe mdawaki. Na ya afanya hiyo kazi ambaye ndekana kufanya. Na we ukitaka hiyo mwaka ingine ya siyasa inakuja 2027. Haiko mbali. Utaenda tena ukuje, ufanya mambo yako vile na vyotaka. But for now what we just say is that uh, mimi sita support anymore war memorial kuendelea kulingana na the characters wale niliona wakipele kwa kotini. Kwa sababu hivi karibuni, we will not be having that hospital. That one I can assure you. I saw what happened at Crawford land. The whole land has been uh, sold off. Sahi vile tunasema, uh, na koti tamua. Kwa sababu nini walisema, na nina shukuru. Unajua sa zingine mnasikianga, watu wanasema kuna mambo kidogo na na shukuru. Chief Justice kwa sababu, alikubali wakai chini wanongoziane na president. Mina zikia hapa kina li wanaita president kuja, sijui nani. The president has no business coming to the county. The county has a, gov a governor and uh, the county is in a position to be able to handle its affairs. There is nothing that has gotten out of hand. Isipokuwa sasa ni ile nilisikia sijui watu walitolewa kwa dialysis, sijui wakafanyo na mnagani. How true it is, mimi na hiyo siwezi support at all kabisa. Ya pili ambaye ni kitu ya muhimu. Who, rec who registers uh, hospitals? It is the association ambaye imeusika na hiyo maneno. Tunawambia pia wachunguze, wakuje waangalie, ni njia gani muafaka ambaye ineza suluisha hili jambo, ndio watu waendele kupata the facilities. Tunajua kuna wengi, unasikia walikuwa napata dialysis uh, treatment pale kwa... But that does not mean that uh, now that uh, the hospital has been closed, Ile kitu tunataka kusema ni kwamba hospitali ikifunguliwa the public must also be given a hearing in terms of how the hospital should be managed. Kwa nini? We, mimi napeleka kwa watoto hapo home memory. All my children have been treated in home memory, including the last one that was treated just before it was uh, closed. Si kusema sasa kwa sababu imefungwa tumekosa an alternative. We have gone mtoto aki, na tunashukuru mwenyezi Mungu, mtoto yangu hajakuja kugonjeka tano, lakini what we just want is can the issue of war memorial as a limited company be addressed first kabla hata hiyo hospitali ijafunguliwa kwa sababu hatutaki kukaa mahali kwa sababu watu wachache wanaendelea kupata ajira pale kama madaktari na nurses na wale wengine at the expense of selling public land ambaye inatakikana kupanua mahospitali kwa seneta wetu tunakwambia tuliza boli mambo inakuja wewe unavaa nilisikia MCA wakikwambia kiti chako kinaendelea kugadha vumbi Haujawahi enda pale hata baada hii mambo yote kukuja. Have you even tried to uh, convene a special meeting within the Senate and it is within your powers and within your responsibility. Ya kwamba ukiangalia Article 96. Article 96 give uh, 95 and 96 give the senator powers ya kuweza ku manage county affairs. Kwa hivyo tunaambia Madam Kiroche wacha kuchanganya siasa na hii maneno. Wacha kusema sijui governor hajawahi fanya biashara kuna vitu ambayo imeenda beyond mambo ya biashara na kwenda ku, kukuja kupanya con, press conferences will not help all we want is a solution as a senator who controls maneno ya county you should have convened our forum utuite utuambie kuna shida hapa tuite county assembly tukae chini tuulize lakini amwisho nataka kuuliza county assembly county assembly mimi nawaletea petition kwenu I'm going to draft a petition to the County Assembly of Nakuru for you to be able to inquire, investigate, and give a report about the ownership ya hiyo mahali ambaye. Because kama ni hospitali, hatutaki shamba yuzwe, county yanze kutafuta kwenye itanunua mambo ya mashamba na mambo mengine. So I'm going to draft a petition to the County Assembly of Nakuru for them to be able to uh, to investigate, inquire and report, give us a report about uh, mambo ya kule. Na atuwezi kubali, sitaki kulaumu mahakama, mahakama inandelea kufanya kazi yake kama inavyo stahili, ata mimi nikikwazwa, nitaenda kule mbele ya mahakama, county ikikwazwa mahali popote, itaenda mahakamani for it to go to go and get uh, justice but at the same time and again we are want to say 
mahakama inapotoa uamuzi wa kitu na tumesikizana ya kwamba serikali ya, ya KK ama serikali ambayo inaongozwa na Ruto si serikali ya kufanya ubomoaji hii ubomoaji unaona ikifanyika pali inafanyika it is a place because people went to court a judgment has been given and uh, a ruling has been done kwa hivyo hawezi kuja kulaumu serikali ya Ruto because people went to court and judgment imepatikana si tunasema hivi tulipokuja gashagu alituambia sisi kama watu ya, ju, ya, ya serikali ya KK alituambia hawatawahi kubali ubomoaji na tukatoka hapa na deputy president tukaenda solai to restore watu ambao walikuwa wameenda kufurushwa kule kwa sababu gani ukitaka kwenda kufanya eviction mahali penye watu wako ni lazima sub county committee ya security wakae wa discuss kwa sababu ukienda tu uanze kufanya eviction na ulete madhara mengine ukutane na raia wakiwa pale muende mulete madhara mengine itakuwa namna gani kwa hivyo sub county lazima ihusishwe iende kwa county level iende kwa region so that by the time a decision is being done for eviction ama kwenda kutoa watu mahali kwa nini iwe imefuata utaratibu wa policy ya serikali so that we don't have any other uh, collateral damages wakati watu wanaenda kufanya haya mambo kwa ndugu yangu bwana Kemani ambaye wewe umeni umeniongoza sana kwa mambo ya ya siasa nitakuomba wewe ni kiongozi na wewe unaendelea kuwa kiongozi saa zingine kabla hujaenda kufanya matamshi tafadhali tupate sisi tukae chini tukae na wewe tubadilishane mawazo so that we can be able to agree kama tumnaona kwa kweli barabara ndio hii si kusema kwa sababu sasa ye, ye kimadi still remains my mentor in politics aliniweka kwa muda mrefu zaidi ya over 30 years nimekana bwana Kimani kama mentor wangu wa kisiasa na yeye ndo amenifundisha mambo ya mobilization, mambo ya siasa, mambo ya vile utafanya. Lakini naye sasa ile barabara tunaona anaelekea sio barabara mzuri. Tunakuomba kama mzee wa boma. Kama ni mzee wa boma. Mtoto mmoja akikosa hapana chukua kiboko. Kwa sababu wakikuwa wanasema mtoto ambaye anarekebishwa upigwa kiboko akirudishwa nyumbani hapigwi kiboko akielekezewa kwenye uh, kwa gate kule tunakuomba bwana Kemani mimi nakuheshimu sana nitaendelea kukuheshimu lakini pia ni lazima ukae ukijua ya kwamba saa zingine sio kila wakati fujo sio kila wakati ni ma press conferences ya kwenda ita watu tukae chini, chini kama wana county wanakuru tuweze mimi ninakutambua wewe Kemani umeleta uiano not only hii nakuru ulinipeleka Kitale ukanipeleka Eldoret tumekuwa na wewe bwana mpaka Kapenguria tukitafuta uiano wakati kulikuwa kwa na shida wa Kikuyu wakiletewa shida na ulikuwa unaleta uiano we are also pleading with you usiseme ya kwamba eh, sijui governor anafanya wewe ndio ulituletea governor usisahau namna hiyo na as we speak right now do you, have you gotten any information sasa hiyo sijui ni sema nini ndugu yangu mimi nikienda ma nikitaka kufanya kitu huaga sijifichi and i have never shied away from protecting my people i go there in person ni kuzeeka tu nimezeeka sasa. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu hizo vile unaniuliza at the hospital is under siege ama na watu wameingia hiyo ni majukumu ya polisi, ni majukumu ya mahakama kwenda kutoa mwelekeo mpya na vile watu watataka kufanya. But kulingana na vile wananchi nao wanaanza kuongea ya kwamba pia the public must be listened to. Much as is a county versus a war memorial is that people are also saying can we also be had as a citizenry, citizenry wale wanaenda kupata huduma pale na wanasema ikiwa mipangilio ni hiyo ambaye inawekwa na county government then they would go for that where a bigger hospital will be done we don't have to go to nairobi all the time for referral or we go to Eldor. we can have our own here 
and that is what the public is also saying. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure, I've not been to War Memorial. The last time I was there, I was the one who was taking back the medics back to work. Na wale watu walikuwa mefurujwa, na muna kumbuka wale guns walikuwa meletwa, mimi ndo li wanyanganya ile vitu walikuwa menyanganyana, tukarudishia kwa wale watu walikuwa pale kwa hospitali. So kama sahi kuna watu wako pale, hiyo siwezi jua, hiyo ni majukumu ya idara ya polisi. Kwa sababu nikienda pale, nitaambio ni mimi tu nimepewa. Unajua nimekuwa, mimi nimekuwa uh, nikilaumiwa, mimi napenda guns. Sahi mimi ndi wawo guns na nyorosha tau na amuni. Amutangaze hiyo maneno njini. <laughs> eh, nani, huyo uh, uh, azu, atakuwa shahidi. Hii januari yote, uh, december yote, na januari wakati watoto wa merudi ya hospitali, ha, uh, shule, hakuna mtu aliibiwa chochote pa kwa stage. Kwa sababu ya nini, nilipereka vijana wangu, tukalinda pale. Na tukalinda, na hakuna mtoto hata mmoja wa shule ama mzazi atasema kuna mambo. Na bado wameanza kurudi, Na wewe azu huyo hako hapa is a witness Juzi tulishika saba Na tumepeleka and four of them were charged In a court of law yesterday Na witnesses wako Mwingine hata a robbery with violence Mumoja mwenye tulishika Kwa kwa e, Mamba ya kupeleka gun sasa sisi ndio tunanyorosha Hawa watu wenye wanataka kuleta Na kama hiko wanataka msaada yangu ya kuenda kutoa watu Wale wanausiko wanipe Waniambie tu Within 10 minutes, I would have put a mutiota back.